Welcome back, and happy Sunday. Did you get your daylight savings all worked out? I want you to look in the link below, because I want you to see this funny thing College Humor did about... Oh, it's so funny. Daylight saving time or daylight savings? It's daylight saving. It's not plural. Whatever they said, go watch it. All right, today's been a little bit of a rough day, but we're about positivity here. And you know what? Every rough day, every down day has to have an upside to it, right? There's got to be... You, you know, if it was all bad, you wouldn't know it was bad. It'd just be bad darkness. Maybe that's what it is. No. Positivity. I'm looking around the room for reminders. I'll, I'm going to let you know the positive stuff that we're working with here. You ready? Happy. I got that written in big letters. That's pretty nice. Patience. Oh, boy. Getting more positive. Hmm, man, I was hoping for a lot more. I need a, a lot more reminders. Okay, I'll leave you with a quote. This is David R. Hawkins. And if you're not on David R. Hawkins, let me just remind you about the link below. This book is pretty awesome. I bought this for a couple friends and family members. I'm still not all the way through it. But I really believe in this thing. When you're going through your shit, S-H-I-T, when you're going through it, and you're trying to figure out, trying to make sense of it all, it, it gets tough. You've been working on yourself, and at the end of the day, oh my God, there's so much more work to do. So much more work to do. Let's call that the coal pile. And I've got a pretty little picture here that I drew from my imagination after hearing this quote from David R. Hawkins. Okay, you ready? It's the coal pile. Here's the quote. Paraphrasing. Easy to miss all the progress when you're staring at the shovel. And you'll see the picture. I'll have it somewhere. It's probably in the video. And if you're not watching the video, sorry, I'll describe it. It's a guy. He's angry. Ugh. He's like another pile, right? He's he's staring at the shovel, digging out of the digging from the hole, like where the coal is. And you know what you do with a shovel, right? You go, and then you throw it over your back. Throw it over your back. Screw it. I don't care where it's landing. Someone else is going to pick that up. That that big pile you're making. That's the coal pile of progress. The coal pile of progress. You get it? It's easy to miss all the progress when you're staring at the shovel. The shovel's in front of you, right? Digging out that hole you've been digging at for years and years and years. But you're packing it on the coal pile. Man, turn around, woman. Look at that amazing thing that you've been building your whole life. That's all I got. David R. Hawkins, go look his stuff up. Let him go. Or let it go. It's all the same. Go check it out. I'll leave a link below because I really do believe in this thing. And I'll keep you updated. Man, we're only at almost four minutes. We got to go to 404. What else can I say that's on the hot the hot jive tip right now? <laughs> I can't even tell you about GameStop. Oh, that's the thing. Go look in my feed. There is a... Um, a real simple video on how you can go check on the status of your stimulus, right? Your stimuli. If you're getting one, if you uh, you fall in those income thresholds, you can go check it out, man. The IRS made a pretty cool website that um, will let you go check out when you can expect to see that. And that's real helpful for you. That's helpful just knowing to get your finances in order. And with that, I got a call coming in. Hey. Be positive, be easy, be out. Love you guys, late.